Welcome back to The Wolf and Melody. My name's Tommy, and tonight I'm bringing you a patron-recommended song. Uh, I It's Swedish. I don't want to attempt to say it in Swedish, but the song is You Must Be Real. This song has a really... Um, from what I was told about it and just the story, this is going to be... This is going to be a very heartfelt song, and uh, so buckle up. You might want to get some tissues, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, everything that I've heard um, from Sweden is amazing. I really, a lot of music I listen to is from is Swedish, and I don't know. There's something in the water. They, they make beautiful music, and I'm really excited to hear this, so y'all, thank you so much for being here, and uh, being a part of this community, and yeah, Helen Skoltholm, Skoltholm, you must be real, let's go, real quick, uh, this follows a family during the, the immigration uh, in Sweden back in like the 1850s, and so it's following like the story follows this family um, who the mother, the mother moves to the U.S., has a hard time really adjusting and fitting in. And then they lose what would have been their seventh child. And they and the doctor says, like, listen, if you're if you want to have another baby, it'll be fatal to you. So not only did this family move and she had to go through moving from Sweden to the U S and be in this new place and have a hard time adjusting the, and then you, you lose your child and then you can't have another one because it'll kill you. So a little bit of backstory of the song. I, I believe I got it all right. Du fördrev mig Gud Från mitt hemland slet jag bort Här är jag en flykning och en främling På det ödet finner jag min Gud Men du tog mitt barn Du tar mig från min Kan inte längre se en mening Och i det du vill Vad ska jag tro? Tanken spindlande framför mig gapar en avgrund Hela mitt väsen gör uppråd Det lilla 
ordet som skrämmer och plågar mig så. Oh my god, her voice. Ordet är om, om jag vet alla böner för Om du inte finns till, vad ska jag göra då? Vem ska känna min om och sedan Oh my god, man. Guys. Oh. Okay. I'm trying really hard to like gather my thoughts, man. Like I have like five like four or five things. Already knowing the backstory of of this. The way they wrote these lyrics, man. The way they wrote these lyrics. It's like really profound. Second, Helen. Look at how she's like, look, look at how she's staring. I believed watching this that she was truly this woman, the story staring into the, the face of God. I have never like it's, it's heavy, man. I'm not. Uh, it's so heavy, dude, because there's, I've never seen, I've never, I've never seen a performance like this. I've never seen somebody sing with like such anger in a way, even though it's not them, they embodied, they allowed the, the story, the song to literally take over them and sing so beautifully. She did things with her voice that was just so beautiful, like amazing. This was incredible, incredible, man. Like this is heavy when you understand the story and, and I'm sure all of us, and this is like, what's getting me a lot of us, dude, we see ourselves in her. I remember
so you, I've shared a little bit about um, through different songs, you know, I've shared a little bit about how my father passed away when I was 14. What proceeded to happen after that was um, my mother, you know, she lost the love of her life. And my mom never got married again after my dad. She loved him. And um, my mother got very depressed. And um, locked herself in her room for a year. She was, it was, I didn't have a mom for her a, a little bit. And the relationship that I had with her when we would communicate was just awful. It was, it was terrible. And I remember there was a boiling point. We, we got into this awful fight, this awful fight. And I remember, um, my mom, she couldn't walk real well. And so it, I just would walk away from her and, and I, I just wasn't, you know, I was a rebellious son. I go upstairs and I'm so pissed off. I'm just so pissed off and everything is hitting me. You're, you're this nobody. Nobody likes you. You come from a. You come from this little town. You didn't even have friends there. You move in here. Because you know. Because you were told it would help your dad. And your dad dies. Don't even. Your mom is not even. my. Your, it seems like your mom doesn't even care about you. You're a nobody. Dude. And I remember sitting down, man. I'm sorry. This is like very long winded. I remember sitting down and just screaming from this deep place in me. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. And I wasn't talking to my mother. I don't mean to like go on. But y'all know I. This song, man. I could. I saw me. I saw me. Just like I'm sure some of you. You know. This was like. This was insane, man. Again, I feel bad for like going on. I. I feel like there are times where like it's important to share parts of your past because people have gone through stuff and a lot of times we feel so alone because no one we think no one goes through what we've gone through. So I do feel bad for like talking a lot but then I don't. <laughs> Guys, this was heavy, man. I I feel so I feel dumb sometimes, man, when I like when the song overtakes me, man. Like it's still hitting me, man. Like it's Oh my God, man. Thank you to the patron who re recommended this beautiful song. I love you guys. I love you. Keep your head up and uh, just know how special you are and how important you are. And until next time, guys, we'll be back with another reaction.